Have you heard of Joseph Allain? He is a real standout figure from church history. He is very well known for a cutting edge book that he wrote. Joseph Allain lived from 1634 to 1668. He is best known for his classic book, Alarm to the Unconverted, which was written in 1671. One of Alain's outstanding characteristics was his zeal for souls. He loved souls, he went after souls, he would go to people's homes, he would preach to prisoners in the jails. One of his contemporaries described him as infinitely and insatiably greedy of the conversion of souls wherein he had no small success. Joseph Alain spent two stints in jail and never recovered physically from those and actually died at the young age of 34. But he leaves behind such a great legacy. And I've just recently finished reading this book, Alarm to the Unconverted. I would highly recommend it. It is available online as a PDF and it's a real soul stirring book. One of the standout features of the book is that it is marked by earnest appeals to lost sinners to get right with God, to have their sins forgiven, to come to Jesus Christ for salvation. There's real heat and there's real passion in this book. In fact, the introduction to the book is called An Earnest Invitation to Sinners to Turn to God. And here are some of the chapter titles. Mistakes about conversion, the nature of conversion, the necessity of conversion, down to number six, directions to the unconverted. He really speaks directly to unsaved people. And seven, the motives to conversion. And let's just have a look now at some of the strong appeals that Joseph Alain made to unbelievers. He said, never think you can convert yourself. If ever you would be savingly converted, you must despair of doing it in your own strength. It is a resurrection from the dead, a new creation, a work of absolute omnipotence. Are not these out of the reach of human power? This is a supernatural work. He goes on to say, O oh sinner, stop here and consider. If you are a man and not a senseless block, consider. Think where you are standing, upon the very brink of destruction. As the Lord liveth and as your soul liveth, there is but a step between you and this. You do not know when you lie down, but you may be in hell before morning. So he would give these stirring appeals to people that now was the time. Now is the time to act. Now is the time to respond. Here's another one. He says, awake, awake, O sinner, arise and take your flight. There is but one door that you may flee by, and that is the narrow door of conversion and the new birth. So as you can see, he was very forthright and very direct in giving these challenges. However, we mustn't think that he was like that all the time. Like an Old Testament prophet, he could be very strong, but there's also some compassion there and words of hope. Have a look at this in the conclusion. He says, Now the Lord Jesus stretches wide his arms to receive you. How movingly, how meltingly, how compassionately he calls. So I would highly recommend uh, anyone out there wanting to get your soul stirred and wanting to get, you know, really in that place of having the heart of a shepherd going after lost sheep and just doing what you can to evangelize the lost. Uh, I would encourage you to read Alarm to the Unconverted by Joseph Allen. May God stir us all with a fresh passion for the lost and a baptism of concern for lost people who are perishing.